We met actually at a camp when we were in high school and we just kind of hang out, hung out in the same groups together and just kind of talked to each other every once in a while. And then after we would leave camp, it was just a week in the summer, we would stay in contact for a couple months at a time and then just kind of fall off. And then uh, eventually it got to the point where we started talking consistently and uh, just never kind of stopped after that. So we first met at Camp Indicoso. Um, I was like 14, he was I think like 16 or 17. Um, we were like strictly just friends, like just like, hey, what's going on? And then probably like three years later, I was like, mm, I wanna date you. And so like completely sought him out, like got his number off Instagram, everything. And then we just never stopped talking and ended up starting dating. As I'm sure you know, there's nothing easier than saying words and nothing harder than living them day after day. What you promised today must be renewed and redecided tomorrow and each day thereafter. Because real love is something beyond the warmth, and there's a lot of warmth here, the warmth and glow, the excitement and romance of being deeply in love. It is caring as much about the welfare and happiness of the other as it is about your own. But true love is not being so totally absorbed in one another that you lose your individual identity. It's looking outward in the same direction together. Your love will make burdens lighter because you divide them. It will make joys more intense because you share them. It will make you stronger so you can reach out and become involved with life in ways that you dared not risk alone. about six months into us dating I just kind of had the feeling that that was it like I was really I never felt that way about anybody else and she was just she made me happy and I knew I just knew from then on that she was she was the one he is just the person that does everything for me he understands me he makes me who I am as a person I don't feel like I have to hide um, he makes any bad day funny. Like he tries his best to be whoever I need him to be and he's just ultimately my best friend. Uh, many of you know that my connection to Nate and Hope is through a church camp called Indicoso. Uh, my wife Emily and I, had it not been for COVID-19, would have celebrated our 15th year as counselors and directors at that camp this year. And so I first got to know these two as campers. And this will not be the first time I say this, nor the last time. You're not supposed to have favorite campers, but I do. As a camper, Nate was competitive in the sports that he played, but he was always willing to be a total goofball. So he fit right in. Uh, Hope was always a delight to have in small group discussions because she never let the silence go too long. She speaks her mind and is always fiercely loyal to the friendship she makes. God is love, and any example of true selfless love, whether for friends or campers or counselors or family or a significant other, binds us uniquely to God who created us for love in the first place. I promise you both, no matter what comes next, if you seek God, through Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, your love relationships, all of them, will strengthen and deepen. you again to offer a vow of support for this marriage. Will you who are present to witness these vows do all in your power to support and uphold this marriage in the years ahead? If so, answer, we will. We will. All right. If you're going to run, this is it. Like, like last chance. This is, this is literally it. In the name of God. In the name of God. I, Nathan. I, Nathan. Will be yours in times of plenty will be yours in times of plenty. In times of want. In times of want. In times of sickness and in times of health. In times of sickness and in health. In times of joy and in times of sorrow. In times of joy and times of sorrow. In times of failure and in times of triumph. In times of failure and times of triumph. I promise to honor you 
I promise to honor you. And always put God first. And always put God first. I promise to care for your mind, spirit, and soul. I promise to care for your mind, spirit, and soul. I promise to always be your teammate and best friend. I promise to always be your teammate and best friend. And to stay with you no matter what. And to stay with you no matter what. For always. For always. This is my vow before God. This is my vow before God. In the name of God. In the name of God. I hope. I hope. Will be yours in times of plenty and in times of want. Will be yours in time of plenty and in times of hope. In times of sickness and in times of health. And in times of sickness and in times of health. In times of joy and in times of sorrow. And in times of joy and in times of sorrow. In times of failure and in times of triumph. In times of failure and in times of triumph. I promise to honor you. I promise to honor you. And always put God first. And always put God first. I promise to care for your mind, spirit, and soul. I promise to care for your mind, spirit, and soul. I promise to always be your teammate and best friend. I promise to always be your teammate and best friend. And to stay with you no matter what. And to stay with you no matter what. For always. For always. This is my vow before God. This is my vow before God. Hope. Do you take Nathan to be your husband, to live together in marriage. Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live? I will. And Nathan, do you take hope to be your wife, to live together in marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health and forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I will. Hope I give you this ring. Hope I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And with all that I have. And with all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. All right. Repeat after me. Nathan, I give you this ring. Nathan, I give you this ring. As a sign of my vow. As a sign of my vow. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And with all that I have. And with all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. I am pleased to announce for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Nathaniel Christian Reedy. You may kiss the bride. our lives together um, even more than we are now but I can't wait to move on from this have kids build a future and just be your wife till you die I'm very excited to be your husband and that uh, that I love her and I'm, I'm I'm ready to spend the rest of my life with her <laughs> 